Our family, in spite of the fact that we're polygamous, is a very traditional family. I'm in this place where I'm going, you know, it just takes guts to actually step out and say this is what you're feeling. That she knows herself and understands herself and is willing to accept who she is. I wish that I knew exactly what was going on with her and what she's been doing this past year to make her realize this about herself. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, June 28th, and we have a Sister Wives update that's pretty exciting. It's an announcement from Cody and Mary's child, who used to go by the name Mariah, who has now taken on the identity of Leo and Leon, or they, them. All right, so we have a lot to unpack here, but Mariah has come out as trans and they are now known as Leo and Leon and Leo or Leon, I guess, whatever your preference is. But their name has been updated on their Instagram and they made the announcement this afternoon or this morning. This actually was following some photographs that were released by Audrey, Chris, uh, Leo's partner and fiance, Audrey actually came out as trans back in December of 2021. Uh, they also use the pronouns they, them, and Audrey has been going through a transition where they have facial hair now and they have more of a masculine aesthetic, but in a picture for Pride, people had noticed they had known that Leo looked a little bit different, and so there was a lot of questions wondering if Leo was going through transition as well. Well, it turns out Leo is trans. So here's what Leo wrote this afternoon or this morning. Someone recently told me that I didn't have to have all my S figured out in order for me to share myself with the world. So here's me definitely ha not having almost any of my figured out to let you know that I am trans. My name is Leon or Leo. I love both. And my pronouns are they, them. I remember the first time that I knew I wasn't a girl. I was pretty young and unfortunately, I grew up in a context that was incredibly gendered and restrictive. So I continued to be socialized as a girl and later a woman. And here's the thing. I'm finally ready to share my favorite self with the world. And that self is incredibly genderqueer, trans, and unapologetic. Being queer and trans are definitely some of my favorite parts of myself. And yet, there are many things that I am learning to love about myself through this process. Here's to me, getting to know myself, share myself, and continually evolve to be the person that I am to be my favorite self in all contexts. And then a little asterisk at the end says, I'm sharing this part of myself to let folks in and also, let's, and also set some boundaries. If you choose to not use my correct name or pronouns, then you do not need to speak to or about me. My name is Leo or Leon, and my pronouns are they, them. Please only refer to me in that in that way. So Leo and Leon shared a photo of them and they looked really happy. So I'm like, this is wonderful. I had noticed a change in Leo very early, like a couple years ago, I started to wonder if something was going on. But you know, you never want to like push boundaries and ask questions unless someone's ready to speak. So I just kept it to myself. And then I noticed when Audrey sort of announced their transition, I also saw changes in Leo. So I was like, I was like, are they both going through their own process with transition? And they are. So it's wonderful that they have one another for support. It's also wonderful that they felt comfortable sharing. Uh, it'll be a 
process for people to uh, sort of divorce themselves from who they knew in the past to who they know in the future. But the important thing is, is that you respect their pronouns and you respect using their path, their current name that they go by and not using what you would call a dead name. So it's, you know, we'll say, well, awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, when Audrey announced their transition, Audrey did not change their name. So they are still going by Audrey, which is actually, Audrey is a gender neutral name. So it's probably easier. I actually really like the Leo name. It's like a lion, right? And that kind of matches their personality. They've always been very feisty and very full of like opinions and able to say that. And I think that's great. So they got some love from Michelle Petty, who is Logan's fiance, who said, I love you so much, Leon. And Logan also said, big brother Logan, only a year older, said, I love you, Leo. And then Mary showed support for their child. And it says, you are my sunshine. A lot of people were wondering if Mary was going to be supportive because when Leo came out as a lesbian, Mary was kind of a taken aback. Now, Mary's fully supportive and on board. And I think Mary's had a little bit of a change in that she's evolved in her thinking. And she also has said she regrets that she wasn't fully supportive of Leo when they came out as a lesbian. And now as trans, trans, they're completely and totally supportive. I think the comment here about if you're not going to use my preferred gender and my preferred name, or my preferred pronouns and my preferred name. I think it is to the media, but I also think it's to her family and I think it's to only a few people in the family. So let me sort of like give you a backstory about how this has all worked out. Peyton Brown has had quite a few snips of where he's misgendered Audrey. And Peyton's like argument on an Instagram live was that, well, Audrey's never told me what their pronouns on are. They've never told me that they are going through transition. So until Audrey tells me, I will refer to them, insert the other pronouns that are not Audrey's preferred pronouns. And fans got very angry at Peyton for not respecting and using their preferred pronouns. So there are some family members that are maybe not as accepting. And I think Hayden comes from a very arrogant place if he were to say, well, I'm not going to do it until they tell me. I've never had a conversation with them, so I'm not going to say anything until I know for sure. When clearly Audrey has been very open and sharing the process in a very vulnerable way. So uh, we like the tea that he gives about the family, but we're not a fan of Peyton misgendering anyone. We should always respect people's pronouns, in my opinion, and we should always be respectful of what their names are and not using their dead names or showing dead fo like photos of them pre-transition because not everyone's okay with that. So we will be respectful of Leo and are very excited about Leo taking this next step forward. And it's awesome that the announcement came at the end of Pride because it's uh, June 28th. I love that Mary's supportive. I haven't seen a lot of other comments yet. And I should note that Leo left the comments limited. You know, in my comments, some people were getting really snarky and I was like, this is so unnecessary. And some people were like, well, I wonder if they will have the same like attitude or whatever or someone said you know well them setting boundaries is just so typical of them and everyone processes things different and nobody gets to say how someone announces to the world their identity nobody so just because it's not how you would prefer it happen who cares this was their choice and i truly think that announcement or that comment was directed at Peyton. that's just my opinion and I think the media as a whole will be sensitive to them and to the name change. There is going to obviously be some negative comments. And so all I'm going to ask you in my audience to do is to never be cruel to anyone uh, that announces a change in identity, to always respect their pro pronouns, and to always pr respect their choice of name. We, it's not our place to tell someone who they are and who they aren't as long as like it, it takes zero seconds to be respectful to somebody's pronouns really 
So it's a big, big, big step for uh, Leo because coming from the fundamentalist background, not having the ability to understand that the fluidness of gender and being restricted to a female place and identifying as female for your whole life because that's all you thought you can, it's pretty incredible to see this metamorphosis. Uh, it's been a pretty cool process to see just them kind of flourish and become who they are. And so I am so happy that they felt comfortable enough to announce that with the world and that if you have negative stuff to say about them, just leave it for another day or leave it to their actions or to their behavior, not about this. So uh, some of you have been asking, when is Sister Wives coming back? Why hasn't it been announced by TLC? And I was looking at last year's schedule and the new season was announced in the end of the summer and the new season started in November. So if we go off the same place as they were last year, the new season would start in November and we'll be so far behind by then. Hayden has said that they're still filming, so I'll take his word for that. And uh, we know that they're still filming because McKelty announced her birth or her pregnancy a couple weeks ago or last week. She's pregnant with twins. There's so many announcements, pregnancies, babies, Leo. I love Leo. I love Audrey and Leo together. They are a dynamic duo, and I hope and wish them the most definite happiness and I'm just excited to see that they have support in their family and I just you know my heart got tickled when I saw Logan wishing them love because Logan for some reason I just have this like soft spot for him I feel like he's just like maybe the best big brother he's got this like kind heart and he seems like he just really gets it and he seems like he's always had this gentle spot because they're very close in age so it was just nice to see that support rain through so what are your thoughts be nice in the comments. Tell me in the comments below. Bye, guys.